Harit, if you were to compare the DTH industry to digital cable in terms of uh, revenues and number of subscribers, where would you stand? Uh, I the rough estimates, you know, you don't know the other side because it's unaccounted sure. for, but there are only estimates. Sure. Uh, but as I see it, uh, I think DTH is roughly in the region of about 27, 28 percent in terms of total number of subscribers, pay TV subscribers in the country. That's DTH, we guys. Uh, in terms of taxes that we pay to the government or revenue we share with the content providers, this 28 percent is actually paying more to the government and the content providers versus the balance 72 percent. There That's are, where it stands. Sure. There are now reports, uh, Harith, that uh, uh, DTH companies ca are forming joint ventures uh, to trim costs and demand high, high carriage fee. Uh, explain to me how this is different uh, from the informal cartels of dis cable distribution companies. Well, I'm not part of any such. I've also read reports in the papers sure. that some DTH companies are forming these kind of associations to negotiate jointly the content or carriage rates uh, with uh, broadcasters. Sure. I am not part of any such uh, discussion or any such uh, joint venture or whatever. Sure. To me, it sounds kind of funny because, uh, you know, uh, negotiating with a content provider is not just about cost. When I negotiate with a content provider, I discuss price, yes, for sure I discuss price. Mm. But I also discuss other strategic initiatives about partnership, packaging details, etc., etc. I mean, if you look at a contract that we sign with a broadcaster, it runs into 40, 45 pages. 45 pages could not be talking about cost. It talks about various partnerships and various packaging and various contractual terms. Every, every platform, every DTH operator has got its own strategy in terms of pricing, in terms of... Uh, partnership, packaging, uh, promotions, etc., etc. Mm. How can four guys get together and negotiate with one uh, co uh, content provider for a contract? Sure. So that's something that beats me. So I, I, I don't believe that. First of all, I and secondly, you know, uh, we DTH operators have been, uh, uh, have been protesting to the regulators saying cartelization or joining up of content providers to form aggregators is not right. It squeezes us, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Now, on, from one side of my mouth, I'm asking for that. On the other side of the mouth, I'm, 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 I'm talking about us joining up together. That sounds kind of funny and preposterous to me.